Hi, let's continue with our section. In this video, I want to talk about what is neural networks. So, neural network inspired by the biological brains are connected, consists of many neurons or computational modules organized in layer. Data is provided at the input layer and predictions are produced at the output layer. All intermediate layers are called hidden layers. Neurons that belong to the same layers are connected to each other. Only two neurons that belong in each layers. Each neuron can have multiple inputs where each input is multiplied by a specific weight and the sum of multiplied inputs is passed, is passed to an activation function that defines that defines the neuron output. So now this is the time to talk about some of the function that is usually used in neural networks. So the first one is a sigmoid function. So we have fz equal 1 divided by 1 plus a to the power of negative z. We got time function. So these are called activation functions. So we have fz equal e to the power of z minus e to the power of negative z divided by e z plus e to the negative z. We have ReLU function. So we have fz max 0 z and then we got linear which is fz equal z. So the, let's talk about the goal of the neural network. So the neural network goal is to optimize its neuron ways such that the code function is minimized. Neural networks can be either used for regression where the output layer consists of a single neuron or classification where it consists of many neurons, usually equal to the number of classes. There are a number of optimizing algorithms or optimizers available for neural network. The most common is Stochastic Gradient Descent or SGD. The main idea is that the weights are updated based on the direction and magnitude, which is the first derivative of the error's radian, multiplied by a factor called the learning rate. Variations and extensions have been proposed that take into account the second derivative, adapt the learning rate, or use the momentum of the previous weight changes to update the weights. Although the concept of the neural networks has existed for a long time recently, their popularity has greatly increased with the advent of the deep learning. Modern architectures consist of convolutional layers, where each layer weights consists of matrices and the output is calculated by sliding the weight matrix onto the input. Another type of layers Max pooling layers calculate the output as the maximum input element again by sliding a fixed size window onto the input. Recurrent layers retain the information about the previous stages. And finally, fully connected layers are traditional neurons as described previously. So, scikit-learn implements traditional neural networks under the SK dot neural network package once again using the examples above example we try to model the diabetes and breast cancer data set so on the diabetes data set we will use the MLP regression with the stochastic gradient dation which is SGD as the optimizer with the MLPR equal to MLP regression Shower equal SGD without any fine tuning, we achieve an R2 is roughly around of 0.64 and an MSA of 1977. So, on the breast cancer data set, using the limited memory Broiden Fletcher Golfarf Sanor, which is LPFGS optimizer, the MLPC equal to MLP classifier solver equal LP, LP FGS. We get a classification accuracy of 
and a competent confusion matrix. And the table show the neural network confusion matrix for the breast cancer data set. So as you can see that most of the our uh, is predicted correct. So we predict the MacLean and the target in MacLean is around 35. And we got four wrong. The same thing we got eight wrong because the predicted is MacLean and the target is Bingling. And we got a hundred and a hundred twenty two. So that means most of our is correct, it's reached around 93%. So that is a really good result. And that is all in this video. So I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you in the next video.